welcome to Quickie Crafts and Collectibles on Pandora Box. Well, today I'm going to show you some more boxed Barbie dolls. So last time I showed you my boxed uh, Wizard of Oz dolls that sit up there. And today I'm showing you some of my collection of vintage Barbie dolls. Now, all of these dolls were bought by myself at the time that they came out. So that's going to tell you how old I am, <laughs> roughly. But uh, I thought I'd show you some of these dolls and uh, quite excited to uh, pull them out of the cupboard. Forgot I had some of them. Very excited. I've seen some of you um, out there, some uh, YouTubers, showing you of your vintage dolls. Um, now I saw this one being shown, and this one here I have. Barbie and I have Therese and they're the um, sitting style Barbie. Stick up like Barbie style. First and play, then decorate. What? Sit style Barbie. It's a great time to be a girl. Great time. Sitting style Barbie. She's sitting pretty. We stick up. Again and again. Sit Sit and style Barbie doll and friends each come with inflatable chair and vinyl stickers. Doll sold separately. It's a great time to be a girl. Barbie. <laughs> Sit and style Barbie, and she comes with. I'll show you that one there like that, and I'll show you the back. So on the back, it shows you that you've got a uh, a chair that you can blow up. Um, Therese has a green uh, look about her. And um, you've got Therese, Chelsea, Barbie, and Kira as well. I don't have Kira. The blue and Chelsea in the yellow. I never got those, but I've got um, Therese and I did get Barbie. Let's so turn them around. Again, you'll see Barbie in the pink chair, and uh, Therese now in the center. And you've got stickers and everything. Now, um, I don't know if the stickers still work. I think they may still be okay. Uh, check out my friend's YouTube channel. Uh, he did take the doll out of the box and put uh, stickers on and everything, and they quite worked all right, I think. Um, but I won't be taking these out of the box. <laughs> I know I love taking my dolls out of the boxes, but it's just just running out of room and these are vintage and I just wanted to keep them as they are really at the end of the day. They're brought by, um, made by Mattel. This is a 1999 wave. Um, so, you know, they're getting on in their age. They are. Okay. And that over there. Then we have... Work and out Barbie. One, two, three, hit it. You, two, three, kill it. Work it out Barbie. Work it in your guts. Touch your toe to the ground. Move your body all around. Shoot. Wow. Move your shoes. You never, never know. So it's smooth before. <laughs> Look, you get this cool Barbie and use a pill. Everybody now. Work it out Barbie. <laughs> Barbie dolls work separately. Each with this Barbie music. Again, for some reason, I've always got um, Therese and Barbie, and I thought Therese was her her, her biggest friend, besides um, you know Chelsea and Kira. Um, but this these ones come out only with um, Chelsea. I'll just show the back. So Chelsea and Barbie and Therese. And Chelsea is in the yellow. Kira didn't come out in this in this range or wave. I've got a cassette player. Uh, I don't even have a cassette anymore player to, to actually play it, even if I got it out. But um, they were articulated in, in a sense. So, yeah, so back in the day, so these come out in 1996. So these are even older than these two. So um, you can see you can 
do big kicks with her, you can twist them, bend them. So they, like in their time, you can really think, you know, articulation was there. They only had like a, a wire through their elbow and that's what made them move. They didn't have what they have today as in made to move Barbies. But um, considering back then they still had made to move. So I don't know why Mattel didn't keep, you know, bringing out these dolls in, you know, in their articulation. The boxes are, are starting to deteriorate and they're starting to come apart. Like I said, I, I don't want to put these out. I've got them displayed on my shelves and um, some of them I've got in the cupboard. So it's just, you know, room that, that's really at the end of the day. So that's those two there. Then I have a, this, I have two of these. This was a special edition from. So having a magical day with Barbie as she celebrates the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World. Wow. Uh, so, this doll came out a while ago and they're celebrating 25 years, so it's probably 50. Let me do my calculations. Ding! There you go. <laughs> that's the answer. Well, there you are. So that's Barbie in her... Um, I, was, I bought one of these and I was given one of these as well, so I have two of these. Um, let's take one out of the box. But they're both still in box. So that's that one. I'll put that over there. Then I have a Coca-Cola one. Now, like I said, um, I wasn't huge and I wasn't buying these dolls for the brands or anything like that. So she came out in 1997. Again, I bought her uh, brand new. The Coke bottles come away, so she had a Coke bottle in her hand. It's falling away. And on the back, you've got like a picnic blanket and you can cut out and do all that kind of stuff. I'll get my Mattel, made by Mattel. Then I have Spot and Dots Barbie. Now, the funny thing is, you know, Cruella just come out again and, uh, you know, I find this again. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's really funny. So, I don't even know if this was... Um, something that come out when um, you know 101 Dalmatians come out but looking at today's animals and looking at back then animals look it was so much more realistic look at that, that dog how much more realistic is that so there you go so I started collecting Barbie dolls around about 1996 when I started really going into collecting. I had a few dolls and um, we used to have the uh, Disney shop here in Sydney and I lived there, literally lived there and I was always there and I was always buying. So she might have been a representative of the um, 101 Dalmatians back then. Find out when that movie came out. Then I have this one here and this is a 1997 Cool Blue Barbie. Anything is possible when you love this girl. she had a bit of articulation in her as well um, another youtuber unboxed her and uh, I'll put the link down below so you can have a look at his link and his unboxing with this doll um, she's quite cool now this is a skipper doll so this is teen skipper teen Therese teen Barbie and teen Josie so the blue was um, in actual fact, I did get Barbie, uh, I did get Skipper, and I got her in um, Unboxed. I have unboxed Teen Skipper because I never had a Teen Skipper and that was the reason I bought this one. Uh, I thought this has been Barbie, Teen Barbie. I mean, the two other girls look pretty much the same. They have 
look at that. You can see that. Is it clean or not? Um, and that was the reason I actually bought her, not because of the the fashion. Well, I didn't mind the fashion, but it had a bit of articulation in her as well. So there you go. Then I didn't realise, but I did have some dolls that I got for uh, the 2000 Olympics here in Sydney. And swimming champion Barbie. Swim and champion Barbie. Barely can swim. Flip strip. Go Barbie. Back strip. Hi Teresa. Go Christy. Time for the Olympics. Swim and champion Barbie. Red team wins. Two more laps. We can do it. Swimming champion Barbie doll really swims the front stroke and back stroke. Friend doll sold separately. It's a great time to be a girl. Barbie. And the winner is. Sydney. <laughs> so this poor box is starting to get really deteriorating. Um, look, to have not one, but I have two of the Barbie Olympics for 2000. Um, these will always stay in box for me. Uh, I was, I did have an involvement in the Olympics. I did compete. I wish I, I did. But um, I was in the opening ceremony and I've probably said this already. But I was in the opening ceremony and um, we rehearsed for months and months and months for a moment at that stadium and it was just an amazing experience. I still actually have the costume um, but it's up in my attic so it's very hard to get to but I kept it for the reason I did and um, got photos and stuff and I do keep in contact with one person and that is now 20, 21 years ago. So um, she was from Melbourne when I met her and um, we're now Facebook friends and she only just had a birthday not long ago. Oh, but where has the time gone, you know? So yeah, to me these, um, the funny thing is I, I wore all green as well. Um, but that's the back of the, the box. And she has a, a silver, oh no, a gold, a gold medal. And this was the swimming one. And I love it because she's got short hair. I just, yeah. And they swam. They used to swim at the, the, the back of the box as well. So to have something of, you know, 2000 um, Olympics, for me, you know, of course these come out in 2000. They might have been 2000 and, or 1999, yeah. The 1999 figures I had to produce them before the actual Olympics. So these are 22 years old. 22 years old. Look at the look on her. I mean, she's just gorgeous. And you know, this is here. This is a bit of like the original Barbie, and I love it because she's got short hair. And for some reason, I I don't mind having Barbies with short hair. I actually quite like them as well. Um, I used to be a hairdresser and uh, I used to style the dolls and stuff, but I haven't done a lot. But um, just very quickly, I'm going to show you uh, something that I did get not long ago. And I didn't, I thought, oh wow, I was so excited. And I, and I did show you this when I showed you my uh, celebrity dolls. And uh, I just put her in this outfit. This is, do you recognize her? It's a bit more of a, you know, for, for wear. Uh, it's Britney Spears, and uh, so she's she's bald. She's got bald spots on both sides, but that's not because she lost her hair. Uh, it's because it was rooted that way, and she did have pigtails. And I was trying to work out what style. Oh, she still got the. She still has the um, thing on the back of her neck. You know, the the prong. Can you see that? Um, so I was trying to work out what um, Britney Spears she was, and I think she was the one in kind of like the school uniform. Well, well and behold, looking through these dolls, <laughs> can you believe it? Can you believe it? I actually had an original. Britney Spears. Uh, this was in nine. This came out in 1999. 
um, valued inbox uh, when, I, when I valued her was $89.95 Australian dollars. Um, but what a crack up. Like, really. Here's me thinking, oh my god, I found one for like a couple of dollars. And I can do her up in that. I'm going to try and work out what she wore and everything. And I'm thinking, yep, yeah, she's the, um, the high school Britney Spears. Checking, yeah, that's her. That is her. So now I do have one boxed and I have one out. I'm gonna, and I didn't want to do this to her. I thought, no, I want to keep her original because you know you like to keep them in original. Um, I'm gonna put her in a made to move body, this one, but fix her hair now that I know how her hair's supposed to go. Um, her fringe is really um, cropped. It's, it's gone. So I might have to reroute her. You know, I haven't done a reroute before. So I'm really looking forward to doing a reroute. Yeah. And um, I'll show her when she's done. And well, that's it for today. Um, I hope you like my boxed Barbie dolls, my vintage Barbie dolls. And Brittany! Hopefully she'll be set free soon. <laughs> and um, yeah, well. There you go. Now, if you've got any of these dolls and um, you know you unbox them and you're happy unboxed or you still got them boxed, let me know and um, yeah, put a comment down the bottom. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and uh, give me a like if you like it. Well, until next time, I'm Pandora Box. <laughs> Chuckers! <laughs>